Sup nerds, today we're going to make this Rick and Morty portal gun pinata. And we're going to start first by hand cutting a lot of the elements out. After this, a little bit more of the more um, complex detailed work I actually cut out on the Cricut. First we're assembling the main body part before assembling the more complex pieces later on that will be cut out with the Cricut. Originally they were going to be cut out by hand, but I realized they were too complex of shapes to be cut out that way. So I ended up cutting them out on the Cricut and assembling them here by hand. Laying down a bead of glue. Next, I began attaching my pre cut um, fringe paper. Later on in the video, we'll see how I cut that down to size. This time I used rubber cement to try to attach it, and I don't know if I would do that again in the future. Here's how I cut these down to size. I think if I do this again, I'm going to try um, maybe a tape runner to see if that's faster. I laid this down with a lot of overlap because later on I went with scissors to clean it up the edges. And you can already see some of the cleaned up edges here. And I tried some fringe tape on this side over here. And I don't, I don't like the fringe tape. My fringe tape had all kind of dried out. Even though I had a lot of white, it was all kind of dried out. And the last little bits looking pretty snazzy. I could have cleaned it up a little more if I would have taken, you know, maybe another hour of just really delicately laying down the fringe tape and maybe doing a tape runner instead of um, rubber cement. I might have done really good, but I'm pretty happy with the results. I didn't get the butt of the gun finished because I was just like, you know what? Let's just wrap this up. I, I've done it before, and it looked pretty good. 